Yeah, everybody. So I'm gonna show um, a few things uh, about the new firmware 226.6.7, uh, which um, I increased the resolution for the stroke for the actuators. So I put a little setup here. I put uh, my testers. This is actually like an actuator emulator. And I uh, have two of them, one on port 1 and one port uh, 5. Um, I set... Let me, let me restart this. Uh, so, I set uh, the four actuators to be for uh, vertical and the other ones for horizontal. So, this way you can see here the one on port 5 uh, sets in the middle position. Um, goes from all the way down and then stays uh, in the middle position when goes to park. Okay, so uh, for uh, port 2, I have connected uh, the servo with the uh, actuator so I can demonstrate uh, how to fine tune the stroke. Correctly, so um, let me change this to TN2, hold it, okay, now it will display uh, torque, uh, I need that, so I can, I know when it's gonna reach the head, which uh, you can actually just hear it or see the result of over talking on the power display um, but I'm going to demonstrate uh, to you this situation here let me see so let me see I have the stroke set here um, if I adjust it here you'll see that it adjusts a little bit for all of them actually you can see actually in the middle one um, when I adjust it it shifts a little bit the center Every time, increase it, decrease it. I go to low. It decrease it. So I'm gonna set it to near 150. It will go up one at a time. So we can see the result on the servo. Uh, so. What I'm gonna do so I can see the maximum stroke, I have to press and hold the up button, and the actuator will go all the way out. If I release it, it will start going back again, which is useful. Yeah, you'll see in a minute why it's useful to go back a little bit so it doesn't keep over talking. So, uh, if you keep it, hold it, and try to adjust the, the value. You'll see that it may jump. Oh, I need to use two different figures. You'll see that it does the little jump every time because it recalculates the the new position. So uh, the thing is, um, right now I'm above 150, which means this actuator from a rational lab can go above 150 millimeter even if it's 150 rated so I'm gonna see how much I can go 158 Oop, did you hear that? I'm gonna go above you can see 400 watts there it draws 270% over torque. You see? Yep, 470 watts power. As you can see here, it doesn't rotate all the way. Okay, so that's how you find the maximum, or if you don't want to hold it. You can just set it 
to 159, which is the over travel here in this case. I just press the button. You will see. You can see actually the lights. dropping a little bit brightness because it draws too much power but um, yeah so you can use either way just uh, hold the up button and um, rotate it quickly up to the value as soon as you hear it you, you could actually hear it I recommend do that only for one actuator at a time uh, so you don't um, uh, over talk all of them it also um, it's best um, to leave the same value uh, for all of the uh, vertical actuators so if you see your actuators have a little bit uh, for example one of them can go 158 but the other one can go only to 157 uh, it's best to keep for all of them 157 so you don't have different um, uh, uh, strokes for each one because um, the controller will scale up so you'll have one leg at some points getting higher than the other one so you need all this to be the same but um, you can use whatever values for the horizontal usually these are independent so uh, traction loss independent uh, or you can fine tune each one uh, for example let me save this one as individual values Okay, let's go back here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to actuator 5, which is this for attraction loss. I don't want this to be 200 millimeter. Okay, you can see here it's 10,000 which is uh, the middle position for that actuator okay so this will go oh actually let me adjust this for 200 yeah and it can go no I had to had to change the actuator size on this for 210 millimeter. But um, yeah, so you can have individual values if you set it as individual setting. You can have different values for the four actuators. It can be 157, like I said. And then the five I want it to be longer because it's actual the actual actuator is longer. Even that you can fine tune it, so you can fine tune it um, perhaps to adjust the center, the park position there, maybe, or uh, because it didn't match on the mechanical side, the actual size, or you just want to fine tune the max stroke it does because uh, maybe you have an actuator like this that you want to use more than 150 millimeter. And this can go up to 158 millimeter right now okay so I hope that explained a few things and, um, and that's pretty much it I did in this firmware I fixed a few other things that it's not something that you visually have to see or uh, adjust uh, this background stuff that's uh, uh, just needed you know maintenance few little things that over time i need to adjust but uh, yeah i was really happy with this firmware it's uh, came out really nice and smooth this is my test motion thing that's 
Put those things in. See, smooth. And the setup was really quiet. Well, okay. I hope uh, this video was useful to you. Well, and, um, yeah, and um, I didn't want to use the uh, horizontal filming. I think I'm gonna keep this vertical format at least for some videos because uh, I see uh, more and more of you just use to watch them on your phone which is easier to zoom um, anyway well thanks for watching for now bye